Okay, so this is the, the final part for the, the modeling of the, the, the external modeling. So just finished the air intakes. Okay, so now we've got something that resembles a jet. Okay, it's not perfect, I know. Obviously, I'm not here to make it perfect. I'm here just to try and illustrate the, the points that I've used. So I hope they help. Um, so the next thing also um, I'll give, just show you quickly is filleting because that's the kind of last part you would do here. Um, so if you go into the, the uh, tools menu, you go to fill it. And we'll do it around here first. Okay, so if we give it just say a five mil, you can see there it's added this, you know, it's smooth, giving it a radius of five mil. If you do that bigger, you know, you can just, you have to just play about with it to see what it, how, what it, but it's, it's important for when you're building because it'll help that you don't have 90 degree uh, angles all around. Okay, so you can just do that all over around the place. This will be a good one down here. Just gonna add a fill it in there. So you see it smoothed it right out. I wonder what we can get away with in there. Okay, we'll just leave it at 10. I mean you have to play about with this, but you can do different ones. You can also do a um uh, there's different types of fillets you can do. You can have variable radius and things like that. At the moment we've just got a constant radius in. And you can do that until your heart's content, until you get the, the kind of airplane that the airplane that you, the, that you want. The only other things that we will need to do later on is we're going to need to seal up, while well, it's hollow at the moment, which is what we want to, to build out the internal structure. When we come to 3D printing, we need to seal this off because we need to create a solid structure to 3D print, which we'll do later. Um, we also need to uh, give some uh, structure or some some detail to the uh, the air intake. For example, if we just go into this sketch here. So if I go like to this sketch and we do a quick scale. Oh no, we can't. We need to copy this one. We don't want to mess with the one that's already there. Turn all the bodies off. Gonna copy it. I create a new sketch on top of that one. Gonna paste it in there. Just hit OK. And then what I want to do is from this point, I think. Let's turn that one off. From this point, I want to just scale. Let's just say like that. I think. So now we've got two. So what I can do is if I turn the uh, bodies back on, I can then take this one, I can extrude it. Okay, so you can see there now, and um, you can do the same on the other side as well. But now we've got a hole that's got a lip. So if we just go to do an inspect, do a section analysis. You see, we've got a lip there now, just like we would have. Okay, so that concludes the the first part of um, the series, um, which is the sort of external design modeling. 
Uh, the next bit we'll look at is um, there's three key points before we actually get to going into the workshop. Key point number one is is that we def make sure that our wings and our tail planes can accommodate the various uh, equipment we need to put in, such as the retracts and servos, bat, you know, anything else that we need to put in there. So once we've done, we'll do that next. Once that's done and we've confirmed that the wings can, you know, take the servos, they can take the retracts and the tail planes, um, we can then um, look to actually start um, 3D printing this because with, the, as I mentioned earlier, with the fuselage, there's a lot more room to play with. So I'm not really worried if, the, you know, there's, I can't put a servo in the exact place. I can I can move it because there's enough room. Um, obviously, there is key components we need to get in there, like the turbine and you know a fuel tank and the um, the the air intake ducts into the turbine, uh, battery tray and all the electronics in the forward part. But there's a lot more space to play with, so we don't have to worry about it. If we we start designing, and we build these wings, and then we find out they're too thin to get a servo when we're in you know we're in a bit of trouble. So yeah, so once once we've done the the kind of key points for the wing and the tail plane we'll start printing we'll then uh, so when we do the print we'll make a solid model of this we'll chop it into uh, bite-sized chunks the printer can handle and then we'll get that off and running because that'll take a good few weeks to get um to get everything printed off while that's doing that we can then go in and do a little bit more mapping for the internal structure uh, you know like bulkheads and ribs and strengthening and spars etc etc um and that'll and then that also gives us the templates for things that we need to get either uh, cut you know cnc cut or laser cut um to make the the parts that because i obviously i'd like to you know um make more than one of these if possible so having all these designs is gonna be handy so then at the end we'll have we'll have the kind of uh, real life version in 3d which would have all the servos in it and all the the packaging we'd have and then we'd have a 3d print version which would be uh basically a solid version that's cut into chunks for 3d printer to handle um and then when we get to the end of that, then we go into the workshop, which I can't wait for. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, the next set will you know, be a little while before I release the next one because I've got quite a bit of work to do myself to check, test and check things out. So I hope this has been of some help and um, thanks for watching. Take care.